curious about my Finnish language journey. Then continue watching as I reveal how I learned the Finnish language, the duration of my studies, the places where I studied this unique language, and more. I'm Maria Su, I live in Eastern Finland, and I'm here to inspire you to embrace the Finnish language. This is Finspirational. I think in general, people already have specific plans before moving to another country. Like they, if they are coming to Finland, they will come, they come to Finland to work or to study. I didn't have those plans. Prior to my first vacation in Finland though, I was already a US board passer. And there was, a, a, there was an agency based in Australia who was processing my papers for me to work there. So how did I end up in Finland? Well, let me just give you the cheesiest answer that I could give you. And that is... Love wins. Love always wins. Now back to Finnish language learning, enough of the personal stuff, that's all you're gonna get. Before my first visit to Finland, I already learned a few words on my own. I was honestly intrigued by the Finnish language and I like learning languages. So I bought Finnish language learning material from eBay and there were also some material available online. This was the time before smartphones and online classes. So I learned basic stuff like uh, days of the week, months of the year, numbers, directions, common expressions. And at that time, I thought these would be sufficient to communicate comfortably. I assumed that everyone in the world speaks English anyway. <laughs> However, a significant turning point came when I visited the nearest grocery store and I was looking for cottage cheese. There was a staff there and I asked her in English, of course, could you help me find the cottage cheese? And she just, she just said, an umara, and started to walk away from me. And good thing I remember the Finnish word. So my first, the first Finnish word that I said in public was raiusto. And after saying that, she became friendly and walked with me to the aisle, I mean, to the, to the dairy section where the cottage cheese was. And that was the time when I realized that I have to study this darn language. I continued my self-guided learning journey online, but over time, I felt the need for a more structured approach to my language studies. <laughs> so during a subsequent visit to Finland, I decided to enroll in Helsinki University for a basic Finnish language course. I remember going to the wrong class. We were given small pieces of paper with topics that we had to discuss with our seatmates. I understood the words, but I just couldn't communicate in Finnish yet at that time. And my seatmate, both of us realized that we were in the wrong classroom. But despite the mix-up, it was a good month-long course. And I was quite glad that I learned some vocabulary before the course started. They really came in handy. The experience was enjoyable and I appreciate the pace of the language course in Helsinki University. The positive experience plus my commitment to learn the Finnish language made me sign up for another course in Helsinki University when I came back to Finland later. After successfully completing two courses at Helsinki University, I continued my journey by signing up for courses at Helsinki Summer University, which offered a range of courses. Aside from grammar, I was also in a speaking course. Finland's Employment Office has a program for immigrants. It's called Kotoutumiskoulutus. After registering as a job seeker, I signed up for one of the courses and I was accepted. It was an intensive course about Finnish language learning, the Finnish society and work life. I had to look for those internship places myself. I remember making phone calls and I had a script beside me. <laughs> I found an internship place in our neighborhood. It's a nursing home or they call it Palvalutalo. I was so fortunate because there was this lovely nurse. Her name is Raya. She spent most of her life overseas and she volunteered to be my mentor. And we spoke English. But with other people, I spoke Finnish. She suggested that I ask the manager if they are hiring workers for the summer that year. And that's what I did. 
after completing the course, it became my first workplace in Finland. While working, I went to a few classes on spoken Finnish. I don't remember the name of the school, but it was somewhere in Helsinki. What I remember clearly was after that, I went to the Philippines and stayed there for four months. Going back to Finland after that long vacation was not easy. I honestly didn't want to go back, but obviously I found my way back. I'm still here. <laughs> and I continued to work and adapt to life in this country. As circumstances evolved, I transitioned into freelance work as a medical writer. I wrote in English, and that time I didn't study Finnish anymore because I thought it wasn't necessary. I was fine writing in English, but eventually I decided to return to a regular workplace. So I registered as a job seeker, and the employment office recommended that I do some internship, and it was a facility for disabled individuals. It was during this time when I noticed the difference between the dialect here in Eastern Finland and the ones that they speak in the other parts of, I mean, in Southern Finland. It was difficult for me to understand them at first. Like they say words, that, they say sentences like, Pitanetekke. What else? Maisemo. And there was a time I heard someone said, Mie en syösen mosta pasko. Something in that internship made me realize that I still need to study Finnish. I applied for an integration course which was similar to the one that I did in Southern Finland. And this time I enjoyed the classes more. I interacted more with my classmates and we, we spoke solely in Finnish. This course covered many important subjects that were really helpful for an immigrant's work life and further studies. It prepared me for the language proficiency test. So what did I love most about attending these classes? Meeting people from other countries interacting with them, learning a little about them, and struggling Finnish with them. Behind Finland's top-notch education system are its great teachers. I felt so privileged to be in their classes. And lastly, most of the language courses that I went to were free. I wanted to secure a Finnish nursing degree. And because nursing education in the Philippines is not recognized in Finland, I had to study from the ground up, all in Finnish. Here in this side of Finland, there are no bridging courses for nurses who got their degree overseas. But we have a castle. Try ko nga I had the option to study in other cities, but for practical reasons, I did it here. Part of the studies was a Finnish subject, and it was the last Finnish language class that I went to. How my Finnish language skills improved after that was just the result of communicating daily in Finnish with everyone and in, mostly in the workplace. Looking back, I can say that my Finnish language journey was greatly aided by the impressive public library system, especially in Southern Finland. In my early stages of studying Finnish language, I gathered all possible material that would supplement my learning. I'm more of an auditory learner, which means I learn best by listening. What I found less boring that time was watching cartoons. And because I thought that my vocabulary was that of a toddler's, I watched, cartoon, I watched Teletubbies. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. <laughs> they did a lot of repetitions and they spoke clearly. Another thing that I liked doing then was watching a comedy series called Team Ahma. I think because it's funny and they did a lot of repetition as well. Why hits in hits. Speaking of TV, I have done small roles for TV series. I'm not talking about the first one because I was not happy with how I did, but that did not stop me from applying for speaking roles. I auditioned for a Finnish TV crime series called Koskinen. Hain lääkärin roolin. Sunun para sieltä tänne vyön ajaks tarkailuun. Katsotaan sitten aamulla. I got the part and the filming was amazing. Everything went well. Kuinka sä voit? Sun on paras jäädä tänne vyön ajaks tarkailuun. Noni, koita nu rauhoitua. I was so proud of myself because maybe it was just a few lines, but I used to just say it, I used to in public. It was a huge step. Clap na manjaan. In a nutshell, my Finnish language classroom study spanned for almost two years. This roller coaster ride filled with challenges and rewards transformed me into a fluent Finnish speaker, allowing me to integrate into the Finnish society. 
I often encounter questions about how long it took for me to learn to speak decent Finnish and tips on Finnish language learning. I am the wrong person to ask if your goal is to learn Finnish as quickly as possible because I don't even think that's possible. And I'm not a fan of cutting corners. I took the longest and most excruciating road for me to gain fluency in Finnish language and to get my Finnish nursing degree. It was the path that I chose. Anyhow, I hope that my journey not only inspires you about Finnish language learning, but in facing life's challenges with courage. Pakapala lang yan ang mukha ko.